Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. Thanks for hanging out with me in the fish room again today. So, what is up in Jason's life right now? Well, guess what it is? Breeding. So, I've been thinking long and hard lately. I've had my fish room now for about three years and I really don't actively breed much other than the angelfish and some guppies and some occasional bristle nose that just happen to just happen to breed. But I decided I really need to start getting into breeding, not necessarily to sell, but because of a certain reason that I found out. So uh, I'm a part of the uh, Greater Austin Aquarium Society. Now, so that you know, Austin is like three hours from where I live. And I know you're thinking, Jason, three hours. Well, the local fish club that's here, the Texas Cichlid Association, uh, they're basically trying to get back on their feet again because they've pretty much not done hardly anything over the past years, um, other than they have occasional auction, but they don't have any meetings. They don't have any award programs. And the Austin one is just flying and people are excited and they're doing lots and lots of things. Well, I found out that they were doing the Breeder Award Program. I've never really known much about this. I've, he I've heard people mention it on videos, but I didn't really understand exactly what it was. So I decided to start doing some research and come to find out this thing is just what the doctor ordered. So Jason is a, a little bit competitive. And so when you give me something that I can score points on, I, I'm all, all over it. I get like highly addicted to certain types of video games uh, b because of my nature. And so this is exactly what I needed. And it's not just the program, but to put this thrill and excitement back into me uh, back in the fish room. Now, not that I was being bored of the fish room, but it was kind of becoming just kind of a normal thing and not really as exciting as it used to be. But now I'm incredibly excited because now I get to breed all sorts of fish. And if you guys don't know what it is, you actually get points based upon the fish that you breed. Whether it's like an easy fish like a guppy or a molly, you get like one point. But if it's something that's harder to breed like an egg spreader like a tetra or something, then you might get three points. And on top of that, if you document it, you get another point. Well, guess what? Jason is going to make a video about every single fish that he breeds. So I'm going to have all sorts of documentation. So I'm so, 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 so excited to do this. So let's go around the room and let me kind of show you just bits and pieces of what I'm working on and what I'm breeding at this very moment. All right, first tank that we have here. Uh, these guys are dwarf praycox rainbows. And as you guys can see back in the back, we've got a spawning mop back there. Um, I've been pulling eggs off of this thing every day for about seven days now. So that's one of the ones that I have working. Got lots and lots of eggs from it. And uh, up here, these are the angelfish that I just breed all the time. Angelfish are super easy now. So that's not really a challenge uh, whatsoever. Next thing. Uh, down here we've got Kribenzas. Uh We've got uh, we. I haven't had a pair that spawned yet, but I'm working on uh, getting those guys uh, going. I got I got a, a male. Actually, I got two males uh, that I needed, and I've seen him courting one of the females. So we got those guys going. Over here in this setup, I know this is kind of hard to see, but these are some red and blue Columbia Tetras. I uh, just put these guys in there the other day. Um, haven't got any eggs from them yet. Um, here are some Sterabi Corys. Just put these guys in there two days ago. Uh, working on them. Over here, I've got some uh, Skunk Corys. Just actually put those in there today. So working on those. In this tank, we've got some uh, Apisto McMasteri. Uh, working on getting these guys uh, breeding also. And then a pretty cool story about these guys. These are wild caught uh, Peruvian uh, angelfish. There's five of them in here, all big adults. Um, so a friend of mine that lives here in the uh, Dallas Fourth area, um, actually he found me off of my channel. He watches my videos uh, and he comes to my fish room every once in a while and buys stuff. And he asked me if I've ever bred a wild caught angelfish. I said, no, but I'd like to. And he said, well, he, he would like to get somebody who doesn't have room in, in the tanks that he currently has right now. 
and wanted to know if he bought me some, would I take them and breed them? And then whenever he finally got some tank space, he would then take some of the fry. And I said, man, yeah, I would love to. So that this is another one of my breeding projects right now is uh, getting these guys breeding. Right now they're just in here uh, in a quarantine tank. Uh, they're gonna come out in about three or four days and I'm gonna move them to a, a 40 gallon. And these guys are already uh, full size. So it's not gonna take very long before they uh, begin to pair off and I'll be able to get these guys separated. So another breeding project. All right, in this tank, we have got uh, Bozmani rainbows, got a couple of males and a couple of females in there. Uh, as you can see, the spawning mobs, I've been pulling eggs out of those guys uh, every single day also. And then here, we've got uh, black neons that are breeding in here. These guys have laid eggs a couple of times also, so I'm working on uh, hatching those out also. And then down here, this is the, uh, the breeding, not the breeding tank. This is the, the fry grow out tank that I have. So currently in here, I've got uh, dwarf praecox eggs in this one. I have got, uh, those are angelfish fry a few days old there. In here, I've got a whole bunch of red eye tetra fry growing out. There, I've got some uh, uh, more angelfish fry. And of course, there's angelfish fry growing down the bottom. And then in the back, in that one back there, I've got uh, Bosmani rainbow that are growing out. I'm sorry, Bosmani eggs in there that I'm waiting to hatch. All right, so there you go. There is just a tiny snippet of what is going on right now. I'm taking a bunch of other tanks that I had set up for Caridina shrimp that I don't have anything in that I'm actually taking that water out now and then I'm putting other water in so I can start another breeding project in there. I've got so many different uh, quarries in here and I'd like to try to get a bunch of those going at the same time. Um, again, there's gonna be a bunch of videos that deal with breeding that are gonna be coming out throughout this next year is I would love to be able to hit 100 points on the system, uh, the, the BAP system, the Breeding Award Program system by the end of the year is what my goal is. So I'm gonna need a bunch of tanks breeding. So I'm gonna be overloaded with fry is what the hope is. So you guys got any questions or comments down below? Maybe you got a specific fish that you're like, Jason, you gotta breed this fish because I'm gonna be looking at absolutely everything. Every time I go to the fish store, I'm gonna be picking up probably a dozen of some type of Tetra that I don't have or something of that nature. And, and I'm gonna have to get the easy points too for all the, uh, uh, the live bears. So I'm gonna have to pick up all those different ones because each one that has a different scientific name counts. So as far as guppies, that's just one. <laughs> all right, so leave a comment down below. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.